you fellow gamers, it's Just Jay here bringing you a brand new Clash of Clans video. I got a very special video for you guys that I wanted to show you, but uh, first things first, let's go over uh, something that I thought was really neat or really awesome. And I'm not bragging about my clan in Clash of Clans, but we are doing fairly well. So um, this is our previous war log. Or this is our war log, not our previous war log, and we're doing quite well. I have to say we've only lost what one, two, two losses, um, and we've had some good, pretty good matchups, and some of them got the best of us, as you can see. But one of the ones I wanted to talk about was the previous war that we were in with the gladiators. There was a couple of defenses that I wanted to go over, and actually just kind of show you guys. It was just what I thought were some amazing defenses. So. As you can see, the war, we won 145 to 83. I actually walked out with a pretty nice amount of loot. Now, there was a reason for this as to how I managed to get so much loot, and we will get into that a little bit later. But first defense that I wanted to go over, you've seen it right there, was uh, Mr. Silas, number 10. This is actually the leader of the clan, or owner, whatever you want to call it. He's the clash, the clan owner, leader, big guy. He's the boss man. But uh, anyways... Um, He's, we're going to go over this replay just real quick. Uh, he got attacked by their number 10 player. And I just watched this just once just to see. I'm not 100% certain as to where this guy was going with this attack. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. Oh, wait, yeah. We're going to speed it up just a little bit. But as you can see, he runs in with giants. His army is not that great. He has uh, Valks, his king, wall breakers, barbarians, and archers. Now... As Silas would tell you, and he says it all the time, and um, most people would know this, in a war, don't attack with barbarians or archers. This is probably one of the worst things you could do. As you can see, it's just not doing the kind of damage that needed to be done. And he really was getting nowhere. Now, the one thing that I did, I really wanted to focus on, and I'll replay it just so that we can see it again, but... Right here in this area was Valkyries. This is one of the most underused units that I think is very, 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 very good units to use. Now, of course, I wouldn't use them in war, probably, unless I had really high levels. So he used nine of the Valkyries. And I say these are these are probably pretty good, really good units, and they're very, very un underused, which is, is quite amazing, you know, that they're underused, seeing as how strong they are. Now here's the problem that the guy runs into. He drops all of his troops over here, drops his rage spell, and he comes in from the other side on the dark elixir side to try to get some extra damage. But um, yeah, he calls in his barbs and his archers like he's looting. I don't know why you would want to loot on a number ten in war, but here comes here comes the Valkyries right here. Now he sends in the archers first, and then he sends the Valkyries in. As you can see, they're real and they're raged. They're doing just massive amounts of damage, but unfortunately, with no protection, they just they're just too weak, and the Teslas just tear through them. Teslas cannons. I mean, they're getting hit from everywhere. Even the queen, and they're attacking the queen, which you can see they took the queen down rather quickly. But like I said, just in the open, they're just not. They're just not that great whenever everything's firing on them. So I probably wouldn't have done it. But great job, Silas, on the defense. Uh, there are a lot of people who are telling me that we do a lot of attacks and not a lot of defense videos. And that's one common misconception is that attacks are everything. Defenses are very much a very important part as well. So we're going to try and do a little bit more of those videos for you. And there's some really, really nice defenses. Now, I didn't actually watch that one live, but the one that I did watch live was the one I wanted to show you. It was really, it just really stood out to me, and I told him whenever I watched it, I thought that it was an amazing attack or amazing defense. It was Mr. Nick right here, uh, number 25. So we're gonna go ahead with Nick. Once again, great job on the base design. You know, uh, that's the way you defend with base design and the way you have it set up. And, of course, the way the people attack. Now, you can see they have a pretty broad, or broad amount of troops or types of troops. They have hall riders. They have two dragons. Looks like a Pika, which uh, I'm not 100% what the name of this character is because I haven't unlocked it yet. But we're, for now, we're going to call him the guy from Fantastic Four. <laughs> and, of course, he used some wizards and uh, witches only because I've had them before. I know what they are. And his king, and he used rage spells. But he had a pretty broad 
amount of uh, troops to, to use for this attack. Now, uh, with me being the level that I am, dragons are a big thing for us to use right now. And that's what I use on most of my attacks. But as you can see, this guy is just cleaning up really good. He's cleaning up real nicely. And it just kind of comes to a halt. And as you can see right here on the town hall, these guys are in the middle. They're just kind of destroying the, the anti-air and the Teslas. But they're kind of avoiding the, the, the town hall, which is what I thought was funny now I think that they might actually go only after defenses first and then later on attack things but unfortunately that was a bad combination for what he had going on here because he had nothing to clean up the mess he does have the witches coming in with the uh, skeleton army to try and do some work and they're just tearing at this town hall trying to get it trying to get it trying to get it and unfortunately without the other damage done on the outside the cannons, the mortars, everything is just destroying what little bit of an army he had left. So, like I said, you can see this defense is over. Great job, Nick. And it's just funny how it leaves it down to a very, very small little portion. They almost got the town hall for the one star, but they didn't quite get it with a 48% damage. And that was, you know, just some really amazing defenses that I've seen during this particular war. Now, of course, as you can see, this was probably... It's not probably. It was a pretty good blowout. Uh, we did overwhelm these guys fairly well. But back to the original topic that I wanted to, to, or not the original topic, but another addition to what we were talking about in the beginning of the video was how I scored so much loot. So during a war like this, whenever it's a blowout, you can see that we're clearly going to win. You still have a second attack. We, we kind of three-starred pretty much everyone. Uh, just about everyone was three starred and we did a really good job of it so there were still a lot of attacks that were left over that could have been used for extra things and this is where this is where that, that comes into effect now our great guy the great Steve actually three starred this base but this was just a, a just the way the base was set up and design was was fairly easy to get into and to penetrate or break through the walls and get to the town hall now as you can see this this base design is probably not one of the best ones I've ever seen or looked at. But as you can see, you can kind of come in from the left-hand side here, and sneak your way right into the town hall, and just pick up that one star. Now, for us lower-level people or lower-level guys, this was fairly easy to get into. As you can see, like I said, we got in from the left-hand side. We just send in wall breakers, get to the main troops, and we can get to the town hall. Now, what worked really well for me, and it actually was a, a very good attack for me to get the loot, was dragons coming in on the left-hand side here to clean up. There was no anti-air to take it down. All he had was the wizard towers and the archer towers stopping or putting in any kind of work to stop the dragon attack. Yeah, it was a little bit expensive, but in the long run, it paid off for me to get that extra loot and you know those types of things are things you need to look for especially if you have a blowout in war look for the free base uh, the free the free base that has the easiest town hall to get for the lower level guys is very important loot is the way to go and that's just you know it's the second second attack now during I'm not by no means would I ever tell you to attack somebody that just for loot. That's the wrong way to go about it. Only if you're in a lead and you have a you you have a massive amount of lead going on. Now, this is the actual one where I got the um, the loot on. I'm gonna go ahead and replay that back for you. But like what I was saying was it's not it's not important to to get loot in war. That's not your goal. Your goal is to get the most amount of stars. And for us, um, we had to blow out so it was easy enough for us to get loot. So as you can see, I just massively sent in dragons on him. I had already cooked him up for my second attack and then I realized that there was nothing that I could do so I wouldn't be able to get stars. Now this is what I found was quite funny. Uh, here comes the balloons in behind. This is my current war attack. Dragons and balloons. As you can see, I get to the town hall very, very, very easily and score it. Now, this is what really lets you know that you're up against a fairly weaker enemy, is the fact that I get two stars on this guy. Uh, and this is their level 18, and as you can see, I'm number 36 in this current war. There's no reason as to why I should be able to get two stars on your number 18. Especially not at this low a level. I only have level 1 dragons. You know, there's absolutely no reason. If I had actually started on this side and taken out the anti-air 
in the Teslas right off the bat. I probably could have restarted this base. But, I, like I said, it was not my attack. It was only solely for loot. So keep an eye out for, or during wars, if you know that you're going to win the war, keep an eye out for that extra loot. But I wanted to make sure I shared that with you guys. If you wanted to see anything else or anything in particular or reviews, make sure you leave a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure you share it. Smash the like button. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.